UDFs are great to return a theme color. Now, something that is really missing in Power BI is that you cannot say when you are setting up your conditional formatting that you want to return a certain color from your theme. But what you can do now is create a UDF that contains all of the theme colors. Now, let me show you what I mean and how to set it up. Let's go over here first to view, and then we can go to themes, customize the current theme, and here we have all of the theme colors. Now, these hex codes that we have over there, I want to bring them over to a UDF. I'm gonna go here to the DAX query view. Here we have, again, at the beginning, define function, now the name of the function, PBI, and then maybe theme color. Then we have an equal sign, bracket open, bracket close, equal sign, bigger than. Now in this case, we actually do want to have an input parameter. So let's create a little bit of space between the opening and the closing bracket. And we have to give a name to that input parameter. And then we can use that parameter in our formula. So we can, for example, go for a switch and then refer to the input parameter theme color. And if it's a one, then I want to have color one. Now, color one, instead of writing it like this, we are going to need hex code or RGB code. Now, these are exactly the colors from the theme that I want to bring over. So let me do that quickly. Now, for that input parameter, we can also be a bit more specific by defining the type, subtype, and how we pass that parameter into the function. Now, let me show you. Put two colons, two dots after the parameter name, and then we have the main type. Now, let me show you in the documentation. There are any val, scalar, or table. Now, in this case, we have scalar. That can be either integer or text. As so you see, I have also text options there. And then how we pass that parameter into the function. Does it need to be evaluated before or inside of the function? Now, in this case, before val, which is also at the default. Default is any value and val as passing mode. Now, now our function is done. We have to update the model. Then I go back to the report view. And I've created here already a measure that just checks if the state is in the top three. If so, then I want to return the color blue. Now, instead of returning the color blue, I want to return a certain theme color, but that was never really possible. Now I have that UDF, right? So now I can just call that user defined function, the UDF, say that I want to have theme color number one. I can go over here to cell elements, background color, let's turn it on, and then click on the FX button. Here we have field value, and then let's look for sales top end. Let's click on OK, and you see the first three get that theme color applied. Now, if the theme color would have a change, I would just have to update it in the UDF. And if I want to have a different color from the theme, well, then I can just simply go back over here, change the number that I want to return. And here you see we have the 